Hello everyone, I hope you like the video of ship dimension. So now in this video, we will discuss about some terms related to ship construction. So first is camber. Camber is the uh, curvature of deck in the in the transverse direction. You can see this curvature. This curvature in the transverse direction is known as camber. It is measured as the height of the uh, deck at the center line above the height of the deck at the ship sides. You can see these are the heights of the deck at the ship sides. So we will consider this height uh, like this. And with this height, uh, this height is the height of the deck at the center line. Okay. So this height is considered as camber. Camber is actually provided to drain the liquid from the deck or uh, uh, seawater and it also provides some extra longitudinal strength to ship structure and it is measured at midship. Next is tumble home. Tumble home is also measured at midship. It is actually the inward curvature of the ship's side shells. You can see this uh, above the water level. Okay, you can see above the water level, these side shells, the curve, inward curvature of these side shells. This is known as tumble home. It is actually measured as the horizontal distance from the perpendicular drawn to the shear streak and to the turn of bilge. Okay, so this is known as this horizontal distance is known as tumble home. Similarly, uh, this side also this is known as this horizontal distance is tumble home. Tumble home actually gives uh, more stability to the ship. This design actually helps in the stability because the, this lowers the center of mass. Therefore, it also, lo uh, also lowers the center of gravity, which helps the sh uh, ship structure to be more seaworthy and it uh, makes it more stable. And it is also measured at midship. Next is rise of floor. Rise of floor is actually the rise of bottom shell plating above the uh, baseline, horizontal baseline. See, this is the horizontal baseline. We had discussed about horizontal baseline in the last video of ship dimensions. So, uh, this is the baseline, and this is the rise of bottom shell plating, and this vertical distance, this is known as rise of floor. Rise of floor. Okay, similarly this side. Rise of floor is actually provided to drain the liquid from the ballast water for of the ballast water in double bottom tank. Okay. This is rise of floor. So a rise of floor is actually provided to drain the ballast water in the double bottom tank towards the center line or towards the tank suction. Now next is flare. Flare is the outward curvature at the forward end of the ship of the side shells above the water level. You can see this is the forward end of the ship and uh, this is the water level. So this outward curvature, this is known as flare. We can consider flare as this. This is the flare. Flare actually uh, uh, gives extra buoyancy because it is having a wide a wide area above the water level. So it prevents the bow from dipping deeply into the heavy head seas. Uh, it also gives extra working area on the foxhole deck. It also keeps clear the dropping of anchor and the movement of chain from the side shells, uh, side shell plating. And it also uh, uh, provides some extra uh, reserve buoyancy to the ship. Next is shear. Shear is the rise of deck in the forward and aft part of the deck plating uh, above, the above the parallel line drawn from the center of the ship uh, to, uh, to meet the stem. See the parallel line drawn from the center of the ship to meet the stem. So you can see uh, this rise of deck plating okay, in the forward end. This is known as shear, shear at the forward end. Okay, and This is the shear at the forward end. Now here similarly in the 
aft side at the aft end also this rise of deck plating okay where the parallel line meets the stern so this is known as shear at the aft side so this shear actually provides extra reserve buoyancy to the forward and aft end of the ship and it also uh, drains water from the forecastle deck and the quarter deck now next is rake we have two terms in the rake uh, in rake ra uh, rake of stem and rake of keel rake of stem means uh, the inclination of the stem from a vertical line see this is a uh, consider this, this as a vertical line and this as the stem so this inclination from the vertical line this is known as rake of stem we have discussed that this part of the ship is known as stem in the video of ship dimensions ship dimension we will also discuss in parts of ship next is rake of keel rake of keel means the inclination of keel from the horizontal line consider this as a horizontal line so and this as a keel so the uh, inclination of this keel from this horizontal line this is known as rake of keel now we will discuss about entrance parallel middle body and run so first is entrance what is entrance entrance is actually the length measured at the forward end from the extreme forward end where this converging completes to the part of the ship where the hull at the forward side the hull plating start going parallel you can see from this part uh, the hull plating is going parallel so from the here to here this length is known as entrance this is entrance next is parallel middle body parallel middle body means the length from where the hull plating starts going parallel till the other end so this length you can see from this end to this end the parallel uh, the hull plating is going parallel so this is known as parallel middle body this is the parallel middle body now next is run run is measured at the aft end from where the parallel middle body uh, stops and the converging starts and till the extreme aft end this is the run okay here the parallel middle body ends and the converging starts till the extreme aft end so this is the run so here we have discussed about some terms related to ship structure i hope you will like the video please so please click the like button subscribe the channel and share the video thank you